but one full hour of their live show at Fairy Worlds. So you guys don't want to miss this one. Well, don't miss any of the shows, really. October 12th at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm right here on Let's Talk About the Music. Let's talk about the music, the soft sound of rapper and angel D.L. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm Shells out here in Tacoma. You guys can Google if you want to. You don't have to. And um, he's out there in Ohio, Spider, my co-host. Sure I am. That's me. Creepy. I'm inside. chilling out. <laughs> chilling out. Chilling out. <laughs> And out there in Massachusetts is uh, Massachusetts. A- Massachusetts is uh, <laughs> Angel Del So. Hello, hello, everyone. All right. So if you guys just tuned in um, for a half hour, we were talking about the health and his rap music and where he came it from and all that jazz. But you have another topic too you wanted to add the business business. So explain more about that part. Business, I, I mean, in a general term, as in handling your business or you know finding out like what it is that you want to do in life and don't get stuck at somewhere where you're not necessarily happy because that will affect your health. You know, mm-hmm. and they go hand in hand in, in, in the current situation that. We earthlings deal with day by day. <laughs> earthlings. Um, I like it. Earthlings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So it's um you know it's important to invest your time properly and I mean I understand it's like my first job was at a supermarket you know and I worked my way up from there to answering phones where I was more comfortable making a little bit more money and and in the midst of all that I was building my you know my own music career and and just following my dream and I had to learn the the, the ins and outs of investing in myself and and where to, you know, time management and and how important that is to to, to build a successful business, you know. Mhm. Are you? Very much. And, and you should, you know, every business owner knows like how, how important it is to market themselves and repetition. And sometimes one thing doesn't work, so let's try something else. You can't just, you know, give up. You know, after one one, you know failure and when you get it it's good to just run with it you know mm -hmm. i hear you um i was a i well still am a freelance graphic designer and i was doing that full time and until something horrible happened i lost like four to five thousand dollars in revenue within a month and i was like okay can't do that one okay. so yeah it was hurtful <laughs> and then it took me about six months or so to shake myself out of this little runt got me had to get me a, a job immediately to clean up some stuff and lost my apartment you know so but it's something i did you know i've got myself out of there and now i'm doing this podcast and i'm just like oh i'm scared to death to do the podcast and make this into a business and go through the same thing that i went through with my by freelancing I didn't want to go through the whole thing so learning my mistakes as I go and yeah, exactly. with all of it with everybody in that volunteer group I think the high heavens to everyone because the fact that um, I, I think I don't know if I'll be able to push through everything all these barriers without all my volunteers helping me and musicians too you guys are fantastic support system here to get through so yes, yes. The business and the health, basically the whole story was, I, I understand where you're coming from. Yeah. They go hand in hand, you know? Mm -hmm. They do. You, you can't go to work feeling sick, and sometimes you can get go to work and it'll make you sick. <laughs> you yeah. Know? That you is definitely love a true story. Doing. Yeah. I heard from somebody... Um, their kid was doing like bad in school, and they were going. They were going to school. Their parents were paying for for the for the tuition and whatnot. To, and I guess the kid that's not what he wanted to do. So he was he wasn't doing that good. And um, their parents noticed this, and they talked to to their son, and he ended up sending him on a vacation to do, like to spend some time on you know on on himself. And I guess he was like a surfer or whatnot, and. He loved surfing, and the same amount of time that it took, like, to wake up early in the morning and to go to school, and he was he couldn't wake up in the morning to go to school because he was tired from doing his homework all night or whatnot is kind of the schedule he had to be out there surfing, and he noticed that since he loved doing it, he didn't mind waking up early in the morning and going to bed late at night to check the weather to see what what time the tides are going to be up or whatnot, and it was just a, the changes of, of the surroundings is what made him happy, you know, and it took him out of that state of depression. And it, it was like an interesting story because sometimes that like alone, like, oh, I'm not in the right path. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me do something that I want to do. And, and because I want to do it, not because someone expects it of me. And, you know, that, that can make you a happier person. Yeah, totally agree. Um, playing your guys' music and having this podcast and learning and talking to every guys, I, I've never been so happy in my entire life um, playing and listening to all your guys' creativity when it comes to your guys' music. Uh, it makes me it makes my heart happy. So you can, I can definitely relate to your friend's um, enthusiastic on his surfing path. <laughs> You wouldn't call that, yeah, but yeah. yeah. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Because, I, I, I mean, I posted on Facebook, I don't know how many times, that I'm just digging this Facebook, so, I'm digging this music stuff, so, you guys rock, so I like to say, you guys rock. You guys rock. <laughs> yeah, Facebook's a great tool as well for business, um, for marketing mm-hmm. yourself, and promoting. It's, when when uh, Mark Zuckerberg came up with the idea, he just skyrocketed. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Every country and everybody who has a cell phone nowadays has, you know, Facebook. It's just businesses have Facebooks. Dunkin' Donuts has their own Facebook page. Like, whether it's Starbucks, they have their own Facebook page. Everybody, you know, it's a great, a great marketing tool. Definitely, for sure. I mean, I have this podcast on every social media you can probably think of and there's some I don't have never heard of before I'm just like what but anyway <laughs> I think too much I think me personally too much person uh, social media is way too much just overkill yeah. but that's my opinion now I'm sticking with it man I'm sticking with it <laughs> um all right, so if you guys have any questions, so that's where we open up the chat room. And we open up the phone lines if you guys are not shy enough to call in. So let me get the <laughs> handy-dandy phone number. And yes, I said handy-dandy. Spider, do you have anything else, things you want to talk to our rapper, doctor? A um, couple quick things. Um we asked. I, I talked about your your inspirations and things like that, um, and we talked about generally that that you're a big fan of all kinds of music and everything. Um, who is probably your favorite musician of all time, and why? Of all time, I would go with. Jeez, I have a couple, but my out like, <laughs> you know, like the outmost favorite one would be uh, I would say Tupac the way he struck the world and he's well known in all the countries and mm-hmm. he's one of my favorite favorite artists and he was in many movies he, he was like a jack of all trades when it came mm-hmm. to art you know he, he had poet books of you know of his own poetry I believe he drew um, I would go with Tupac Tupac Shakur cool Cool. He was a very, very, uh, very talented, very eclectic, really just into a lot of things kind of guy. And he he paid attention to politics. He paid attention to the way that the world was going. And um, and uh, they're still finding, last I knew, music of his that was pretty close to being done that just hadn't gotten around to it, or just like little things that he put together. That maybe hadn't been finished, and so they still release um, some of his tracks every so often. And it's it's I don't think anybody has ever said, "Hey, did you hear that song that they released from from Tupac? It was it's really bad." No, nobody ever says that. Yeah, no, no, never. Yeah, he's, he's a great great guy, great individual, hard worker. You know, like, like, to be finding music what twenty years after his death seems like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, Marjorie Delaney has a cheesy question Uh, (laughs) cheesy cheesy and trendy name an artist that you like that's super cheesy and trendy I would have to go with Little Dicky (laughs) (laughs) he's a a newer artist who just came out like a couple years ago Um, you guys can google on my YouTube I'm Little Dicky he has like he has a very big following, you know, but he's cheesy and he's really cool <laughs> at the same time. And his music's <laughs> really nice and catchy. Cool. Yeah. So, anybody else have the questions for uh, our rapper Del Sue? Uh, chat room, you can you can uh, put your question in here. I will be or a spider. I can uh, ask him yourself. Or ask him for you. And tell who you are, and or the phone number if you guys want to not be shy and call in. Here's a, ooh, pardon me, I'm drinking wine. Here is um, <laughs> here is the phone number. You ready? Eric code one three four 
360-464-4216. And if I said it too fast, I just posted it on the chat room.